Hello everyone, my name is Idiotic Synergy, and today there's a new beefy bounty hunter for Goliath fans. This guy is called... <laughs> Fuck's sake, it's taken me five times to read this name without laughing. Gorshiv Hammerfist. <laughs> Why is his name so dumb? I mean, Necromunda and Subtlety don't go together, but come on. Gore... Gorshiv Hammerfist. Cool. <laughs> he's just got two hammers, mate, and he's just the beefiest man in Necromunda. I went, look at him. The guy is beefy. Oh, dear. But, yeah, he's got two hammers, and he's got another weapon there, but I think that's just... Hang on, that weapon there is another fucking ha... He has three hammers? <laughs> Why does he have three hammers? Nobody knows. But he's killed something grotesque in Necromunda. And his hammers do look cool. As well as the model itself looks quite cool. Uh, I like the green beard and the eye patch and the chain axe helmet he's got on. It is a cool model. I ain't gonna lie. It is a very cool model. But his name Gorshiv Hammerfist. But don't worry, he's got two colossal power hammers and a regular sledgehammer because he... Dear. It's a shame he's not a gene stealer because then he would have three arms. So then having three hammers would be kind of cool, but he only has the one because he sucks. Uh, well, he only has the two because he sucks. Gene stealers are cool. But you know what's cooler than being gene stealer corrupted? Nurgle corrupted, baby. Anyway, uh, his hammers are called Rack and Ruin. Which, yeah, they're, they're names, and he's just a big old beefy boy that hits stuff with hammers. Cool. I don't know what his other abilities are, other than the fact he's got two hammers, technically three, and he's killed something in Necromunda. That's it. I, I would like to know what he does in-game. But, you know, he's a cool-looking model. If we scroll down... There's two new models as well. There is the Chem Dealer and Brute Handler. And I really, really like these models. I like the Brute Handler, which is quite funny. Because the Brute Handler trains them, and this is quite funny. Uh, using the Brute's unmodified willpower, if the check is failed, the Brute gains D3 experience however if the check is passed the brute proves too willful and the training doesn't work so for you to get the buff of the brute handler you need to fail your willpower check that is quite funny <laughs> that's quite funny and if a standing and active brute handler is on the battlefield and within three inches of any friendly brute the Brute gains the Nerves of Steel skill, which is really cool, and can re-roll any leadership, call, willpower, or intelligence checks it is required to make. That is incredibly handy. And I don't... F I, I don't know. I've just been playing Enforcers recently, but I am working on an Ogryn gang. Uh, I do want to know if Ogryns count as Brutes, so, like, an Ogryn gang counts as, as brutes, because if you shove this guy into an Ogryn gang, then that's quite useful. But I don't know if they do count as brutes. Anyway, uh, again, I'm still kind of new to Necromunda. And the other guy has... And the other guy, who is the chem dealer, uh, while not particularly handy in a fight, uh, they just provide drugs, which... Cool. Uh, they can... Wow, okay. Uh, this allows... Um, acquired j chems on consignment. This allows the gang to buy a single dose of any chem or items containing chems, such as a single stim slug stash or a Medicare kit, without expending any credits. That is cool. But... Ah, so that's the trade-off. If anything happens to the chem dealer, uh, you cannot hire another one for the entirety of that campaign. Yikes, that's... Hmm. Hmm, that's interesting. 
to say the least. So, so you can get chems for free, basically. But if anything happens, that's it. That's really cool. That is really fucking cool. I like that. It's like with Rogue Docs, you sort of have to keep them away from the battlefield as long as possible because they help your gang a lot more if they're not in combat than if they do get into combat. And yeah, that's that's cool. And that's it for Necromunda. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, yeah, it's just the beefiest man on earth, isn't he? Uh, I've been Idiotic Synergy. I'll see you later. Take care.